cult people, boils and the heinies of humanity, irritating complainers, annoying troublemakers. I sum them up as NIBs, nuts and batter. NIBs exist in every walk of life. Some are relatives, some are strangers, some stranger than others. But all NIBs have one thing in common, selfish behavior that grates on our last raw nerve. I'm Deborah Cody. Welcome to this two-minute stress buster from my book, Too Blessed to be Stressed. Here are five tips on how to deal with difficult people based on scripture outlined in my book. One, pray for them. Want a shocker? You don't have to like someone to pray for them. Pray not that God will change them, that's up to Him, but that He'll let you see them through His eyes. The rule of five may help you see them the way their Creator does. Think of five positive things about your NIB before you allow yourself one negative thought. Not only will your effort to see them in a positive light make a difference in you, but their response to your subtle shift in attitude may surprise you. Two, diffuse your anger. Release steam in a healthy way. Scream into your pillow. Pour out your feelings in a long letter, then destroy it. Whack the stuffing out of a ball. That's why I'm a tennis addict. Three, relax. You don't have to win. Jesus has already won. The driving need to dominate every argument only results in loss. Loss of respect, peace, and relationships. Choose to lose those arguments. Refuse to win. Four, respond, don't react. Take charge of your own attitude and actions. You can't control the NIBs, but you're responsible for yours. Five, when you're ready to finally let go, imagine packing your anger into a big trunk and watching the delivery truck drive it away. Give it to God and don't take it back. When revenge knocks on your heart's door, turn the deadbolt and picture the back bumper of that truck as it fades into the sunset. The anger is no longer yours. You've given it away to the one who will handle it for you. Let him. Difficult people are often in our lives for unseen purposes, God's purposes, perhaps to stretch us, grow us, or sand down our sharp edges by their friction. Remember, even nutty lumps in the batter add flavor. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you'll look for my next two-minute stress buster. In the meantime, may your blessings outweigh your stressings. Thank you.